Hello, stellar people. And today, we're gonna go over my materials for watercolors. That's right, watercolors. And what I use to make paintings and stuff. So, watercolors is a unique medium and that you're trying to build up colors from white to your your deepest darkest colors that you can make and this is what I use this is all my setup and I hope you enjoy it so let's get to my watercolor materials is my watercolor uh, big old <laughs> color scheme for my watercolors so we have I don't know a lot of slots on the sides uh, in the middle we have you know my base colors so I usually start with a brownish red a green and a blue so I mix like a, a, a small vat of each so I can do washes like for large areas and then go in with detail with the ones on the side so I have the the yellows yellows to browns uh, the gold uh, gold green to various darker shades of green so it go from light to dark uh, my blues from like cerulean all the way to Prussian so from light to dark light to dark I have my reds here I start with the pink uh, pink matter rose matter rose matter to the reds and then the purples my five purples and then I usually mix like all the browns into one thing I usually mix all the blues into one all the blues into one thing and then sometimes all the purples into one to make a very deep purple uh, and that's kind of my my watercolor setup but yeah I start in the middle for the middle ones just base colors uh, and then I go for the deeper on the rim this is like for major larger works for all the smaller stuff I use the, the small things but if I wanted to see all the colors that I'm gonna use on like a bigger painting this is what I I how I arrange my stuff so yeah this is my watercolor setup. For starters, I have this. This is like an outside kit. If I wanted to do, you know, a plain air painting and watercolor, I'd usually take this because it's nice and small and compact. So yeah, I bought this like years ago. But still use it. Uh, it's got, you know, a little thing, a tiny, tiny little brush. But yeah, all the colors, this is like the base colors that you would need if you wanted to get started. You know, you have your yellows, yellow shade, a light and a darker, red shades, light, darker, a brown and, well, brown and purple, uh, more of a purple red, and darker brown, sandy brown. These are like white cakes or a gouache in case you made a mistake and you want to like add like a base blue, and then maybe, uh, maybe you wanted to make clouds with a, a nice white gouache, you could do that. Uh, green, I use a lot of green, so that's pretty out. I use a lot of blues, that's almost out. Darker blue, and a dark green. But this is like a base setup. If you if you only want to start with watercolor, if you, you can get tubes, and you can go by these, these as base 
for the tubes that you get. I would recommend, yeah, a light and a dark of yellows. Maybe one red. If you only, uh, maybe two, two browns, a light, a light shade and a dark. Uh, two, yeah, two greens, two blues, and maybe one purple. And that you can, you can get by with that. And I have a lot of old brushes. These are very old. <laughs> uh, if you just wanted base, you would need a small detail brush, a thicker, one of these is always nice, a good old mixing brush. I use this a lot to mix because it's, it's pretty jacked up, but I use it to mix uh, for like large fats. Right, use that. But you know, you can start off with something like a wash brush and you're, over time it'll get down to something like this and you just transition over to this as a mixing brush and buy a new one. Uh, and what else? And maybe a mid brush, a mid size. So yeah, a mid brush, a detail brush, a good wash brush, and well, yeah, this would be all you need, pretty much. I like this one now. But yeah, just something that you can mix colors, do a drop, mix colors, and then you can paint with that. which is a, uh, just a watercolor book. They usually come fairly small, 100% cotton, 15 sheets, cold press. So, yeah, cold press, 100% cotton, 15 sheets. It's 10 by seven, and so yeah. And for me, I like to, you know, if you print out, make a printout, put it on the on the block, and then you can, you know, transfer it down to the paper, so that it then looks like this, and this is like, this is this. So you can take a printout of a of what you want to paint, transfer it down to watercolor paper, and then once it's transferred down, you use watercolor paper. I mean watercolor tape. This is gummed tape. Yeah, gummed paper tape. To tape it down so I've done that here so and it keeps it firmly in place so yeah, that's that this is this I use a lot of it and that's how I get so it doesn't come up you know so it's down onto onto a nice sturdy board. Yeah. So it's just, you know, taped down to a panel of wood. It's fairly thin. Yeah. And it's fairly fairly sturdy. But yeah, that's what I tape my images down onto. Now you can use uh, just regular tape, but I like to 
you know. You can paint on this directly, but it will start to warp if you use too much or, you know, you go over it too many times, it will start to buckle and warp and, you know. It won't look as nice, but, you know, however you want to do it, you can do it. Uh, or, let's see. Uh, uh, this is a watercolor block and a watercolor block, well, what is this? Windsor Newton, uh, 140 pounds. There's 20 sheets and it's also seven by 10, but a block comes like this. So it's almost like this I just took, just cut out from the, yeah. But this is the same as this. A little bit rougher it looks like. And yeah, it's a bunch, like 20 sheets stacked. And it's the same idea that you can have, you can transfer the image down onto this watercolor block. So once you, you know, you go over the image with cero paper, This is cero paper, which is just transfer paper. And so you can see the, my image of him outlined. And that's what I, I used to get this. And it won't come off. So yeah. Cero paper is good for transfer. Or, if some people just like to draw onto the paper and then, you know, paint on top of that. So it's however you want to do it. It's just, you have to decide. And I say early in the beginning, just go with the basics. The basics, basics, basics. Blue, red, brown, purple, yellow. A basic block or you know just watercolor paper and then just test out things different colors different you know styles different techniques wet into wet dry brush uh, swirls fades whatever you want just you know, practice and so that was my watercolor making materials well, I have built all of this up over, what, many, many years, maybe about 15 or so. And that's, you know, I'm not perfect, I'm not a master. I'm just trying to get better with it because I, I really like doing, making watercolors. And so I'll be doing paintings uh, off and on on this channel. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was fun. And we're going to go more into uh, the actual process of painting and further videos. So I hope you enjoyed all that. I look forward to seeing you again. And I'll continue to make stuff. <laughs> so remember to keep shining and I will see you in the next video.